in today's video guys i'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to do these bomb boho knotless braids and with the curly end when i tell you i did that on my hair like i really 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 did that on my hair and i just love how it came out so this video was sponsored by a y wigs hair they did send me three packs of their water wave bundles in 20 inches 100 percent human hair and that is what i used for the boho look and my knotless braid all the information for the hair will be in the description box below so make sure you guys go in there and check out the hair because the hair is some really good hair like y'all i really love how this came out. I was a little worried about the curl pattern at first, but baby, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right on into this video. All right, y'all. So these are three bundles that I am going to be using for my hair. They're from Wigs Hair. Beautiful a water wave and they're very, very full. Oh, I want to say that I used a little bit more than two bundles in my hair. I did not use all three. This is the braiding hair that I am using and this is the best braiding hair to use. Now, this is how I section off my hair. I section my hair in really thin pieces and really thick pieces depending on the sizing of the part of me braiding my hair. And you guys can pause it so you guys can count, but this is how I section off my sections for the braiding out, y'all. The parting is going to look good when it comes to the square, but the three parts is just not, it, it wasn't, it wasn't doing it. Okay. So now what we're about to do is we're prepping the bundle and I'm going to show y'all how to prep the bundle. That's going to make it so much easier when it comes to adding the hair into your braid. So I'm going to be taking some of the red shining jam and I am just going to Spread that shiny gem all over the ends of this cutoff bundle. So once I get done doing that, I'm just going to take my comb and I'm going to comb it through because it will start separating it. As you guys can see, it's starting to look like some of the pieces are clumping together. Yep, that's what you want it to look like. So then when it comes to pulling and separating your hair, that's what it'll look like. And it'll be a lot easier to attach and it'll be a lot easier to take care of. So... What I'm doing is I'm just separating them and I'm laying them out on the table so I can be ready. So my hair is already majority done because I'm not about to sit here and have y'all watch me do my whole entire head. It's a tutorial. So I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to show y'all. Okay, so once you have your sections parted out, you're gonna take some of your hair jam of your choice. Like I said, I'm using the red shining jam. And you're going to spread some jam onto the section of hair, not so much the scalp, but the section of hair. And you're gonna separate your hair into three parts. So then you're gonna go ahead and braid. I braid once, okay? And then I'm going to insert my first piece of hair over my index the finger that i'm using on top to hold so as you can see the finger that's on top to hold i insert the braid right in between that and i go ahead and i braid like that the reason why i braid once and not twice before adding in here is because i feel like my hair is a little bit finer it's not as thick so when I braid like that, it just kind of like looks, it looks weird to me. So I'm going to be adding in, I don't really count how much hair I add. I just go with by the feeling of the braid and that's what I'm doing. So when I get to a good distance, I'm going to stop here and I'm going to take a piece of my hair and I'm just going to stretch that piece of hair right across and then I'm just gonna go ahead and braid that boho braid into my braid. Um, I kind of braid it a little bit firm because when you dip your hair in the water, it does loosen up a little bit. 
and I just don't want this to fall out. So then when I've braided at least two or three times, I take the boho and I put it out the way and I continue to braid on down. And once I braid on down to my liking, I go ahead and add another one. I stretch that one across, braid three, two, three, four times, and then I'll move the strand of the braid out the way. I added each, each box braid does not have the same amount of boho hair on it, but it does range from seven to about nine boho braids. I do somewhere in between those numbers as I'm adding um, my boho hair. It's not all the same. I think this one I did about eight and the one uh, before this that was recorded, I probably did about seven. So just do it based on how you're feeling. It depends on how full you're wanting your hair. But if you are wanting a pretty full look, I do recommend to do seven or more boho braids as you're adding the hair. So now I'm going to show you guys how I tie my ends. So I'm just going to be taking my boho, stretch that straight across, and I'm going to go ahead and start braiding. I'm going to go ahead and braid until I feel like God, you know, is braided well enough to where it's not going to slip out <laughs> at the end. And then I'm going to be taking my very, very thin piece of the braiding hair, and I'm just going to wrap that completely around and when i get done wrapping that around i'm just going to be taking a little bit of nail glue and i'm going to seal the wrap around closed with the nail glue Okay, and so once the glue has dried, all you're gonna do is you're gonna cut off the braiding hair piece, not the bundle hair, but the braiding hair. And this is what your ends look like. So, yeah. So I'm gonna show you guys one more time of me braiding my hair at normal speed. Like I said, I just go ahead and braid once and from the first and second parting of the three part that's where you're going to insert your first braid and then you're going to go ahead and braid make sure you have a good grip and then you're going to go ahead and insert your second braid and then just keep on braiding until and adding hair braiding and adding hair until you feel like you have a good amount size for your braid
You're just too important. Don't find anybody like you do, you do. Also, I just want to let you guys know that there will be flyaways when it comes to braiding your boho hair. And all you do is just cut them flyaways away, y'all. It'll be fine. Just, just cut them away. How can us lose and miss the moment? You just too important. Nobody to fight it like you do. I can't lose when I went to. I can just lose and miss the moment. You just too important. Nobody to fight it like you do. You do. In the top chart, right with you, I feel like Scarface. Like that white bitch with the bob, I'll be your main one. Argument back up to my place. Sex from my you, I'm not violent on you. Day one, we had shit, yeah. It was magic, yeah. Smash and grab shit, yeah. Nasty habits take a hold when you're not here. Ain't a home when you're not here. I'll be growing, you're not here. I'm saying, I can't lose when I'm with you. How can I lose and miss the moment? You just do it, boy. Nobody do better. So my hair is finally all done. Oh, I'm so happy, y'all. Braiding for me takes a long time, but I'm so happy it's all done. Look at my parts, they clean. So now I have a boiling hot water, pot of water boiling. And so I don't have anybody to like pour water over my head. So what I do is I just go ahead and I dip my hair in hot water, which is okay to do if you have 100% human hair for the boho hair. Um, and it just made it easier. I haven't seen nobody in any of their tutorials dip the hair in hot water with the human hair, but I'm not about to play around and burn myself. So that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip the hair. Oh, another tip is that when to come to using the towel to kind of like get some of the water from the hair do not pull down as you can see i'm patting my way down the hair because you do have to realize that you do have human hair in your in your braids so you don't want to pull pull too hard on that how can us lose and miss the moment? You just so important. Nobody to fight it like you do. I can So now I'm going to be taking my mousse. This is my mousse that I use and I got from the beauty supply store. And I'm going to go ahead and just mousse my scalp and mousse all of the hair. Everything from your scalp to the to the braids to the boho hair all the way down to the ends of your hair. Mousse it so your curls can get a nice hold. And so you won't have to like maintain your curls as much with the hold. I haven't, you know, I people say it's a very high maintenance hairstyle, but I only feel like it's super high maintenance once you have synthetic hair. Um, but this is what my hair is looking like wet. Oh, it's just so cute, y'all. Like, I just love it. 
Thank you guys so much for watching my video. This is the end result of my hair. This is what my hair looks like dry now that it is not, you know, wet from dipping it in the hot water. And I just love how my hair came out. It's so cute. This is so cute. Like, I just love how it came out. And human hair is a whole lot easier to maintain with synthetic hair i feel like if you want to use synthetic hair do not do it this full because if you do it this full you're going to struggle for real thank you guys so much for watching my video please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see y'all in my next video bye